This has quickly become one of my favorite hi-fi products from one of my favorite hi-fi companies. What is it? It's this beautiful beast right here. That's right, this is the new Arco 3 Pro from Gishelli Labs. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this headphone amp slash preamp. First, let me tell you a little story about a company called Gishelli Labs. It's run by a family of misfits, Gino, Sherry, Jake, Rachel, and finally, the most important member of all, Grandpa Joe. They're really close to NASA in Florida, where it's hot. They have giant mosquitoes, alligators, and apparently pythons and iguanas just live outside now because some idiot let them out and they've bred now they've taken over the ecosystem luckily Gishelli Labs manufacturing is indoors away from the reptiles and also apparently they have wild monkeys in Florida I've gotten to know them pretty well over the last couple of years and I've got to tell you as people they are about as good as it gets as manufacturers of hi-fi equipment and headphone equipment they may be the best <coughs> This is the Arco 3 Pro. It is done in a one-off custom carved wooden case for me. I wasn't charged anything, so this video is going to be a sponsored video, even though I'm still gonna give you my thoughts and opinions. On the front of the Arco 3, you'll see a very nice knurled, oh, over here, knurled, volume control here. This is one of the old school ones. Well, I wouldn't say it's old school because it's still new. Anyway, there's a set screw on there right there. So don't go try pulling this thing off. Otherwise you could break it. And for the first time, we have toned controls, bass and trouble. You know, I've done this 700 times and I still don't know which direction to go with my finger when I'm on camera. Anyway, tone controls. And over here you have power. You have tone control defeat, you have input, and then over here you have the gain. You can spec this out to have whatever wood you want. I think right now this only comes in wood. This comes in at $4.99, depending upon what type of wood you choose. There may be an aluminum one coming out sometime soon. I don't know though. Then you can choose whatever type of plastic Luxane, whatever it is. I can see through it, but these are like sunglasses. Actually, how cool would it be if I wore these as sunglasses? Actually, this is more like binoculars that don't magnify anything, but do block the sun. This probably wouldn't be useful at all for seeing things. Speaking of seeing things, you can kind of see inside, and inside this thing, it has the Sparkos S op amp. Sparkos is another U.S. company out of Colorado, I believe. Maybe Utah. They're kind of the same, right? Both have mountains. I don't really know anything about Colorado, Utah. I've been to both states, but anyway. Sparkos makes discrete op amps, and op amps have become kind of like the new tube. Only unlike tubes, they're not stupid. Just kidding. I know that we have a lot of tube aficionados out there. I get it. I have rolled tubes. I like tubes as well. Not as much as op amps though. Sparkos Labs makes some of the best op amps available. They sound great. Think more clarity, more instrument separation, more dynamics. So this comes out of the box of Sparkos Labs. $4.99 may seem like a lot when you compare it to the Arkle 2.5, which I think comes in around $220. However, if you run on over to Sparkos Labs website, you can see that their discrete op amps are pretty expensive. So getting all that into one beautiful wooden package, it's not as bad as you think. Also, tone controls. Now, I know people love their headphones. They love them. The problem with headphones is you gotta go through about 13 of them to find one that's perfect for you. Enter the tone controls. With tone controls, you can tweak things just the way you like it, just like you would on an integrated amp. I surmise that people will enjoy their headphones even more, and they won't have to switch out headphones as often. So think about it this way. 
This thing just saved you from buying three more pairs of headphones because of tone controls. So you're losing money by not buying this thing. If you could, please hit that like button. It really helps the video out. Maybe subscribe too if you're not. On the back, it's pretty straightforward. You have one set of balanced XLR inputs one set of single-ended RCA inputs, and one set of single-ended RCA outputs. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this can be a preamp. So, you have a total of two analog inputs, one of which could be balanced and one of which can be single-ended. So, for my purposes, that would be a Gishelli Labs J2 DAC that has an XLR output. Photo preamp into the single-ended. Then Bob's your uncle. No remote control though. This is gonna be more of a, I'm kind of close to it type of a setup. Unless you're running like a Wii mini streamer into it and then you can kind of control volume digitally, but I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it's a headphone amp. So chances are it's gonna be on your desk. Um, how does it sound? Power ratings on this are two plus watts at 16 ohms. I have never felt like Gishelli Labs headphone amps have been lean or underpowered, so they have driven everything that I've thrown at them. Most of my listening was spent on the Hyphenman Edition XS, which is a $500 headphone, one of my favorites. Also listen to the Monolith M1070C. Not necessarily my favorite, but guess what? With tone controls, I was able to bring up the bass a little bit and bring down the treble. And I'm sounding exactly the way I wanted to. There is a crazy amount of dynamic range on this thing. 127 dB, I think is what it's rated at. That is a lot. That's so much dynamic range. Is it too much? I don't think so. The signal to noise ratio is the thing that just gets ridiculous. I think after a certain point, it doesn't even matter how low the signal to noise ratio is. But with dynamic range, more the better. 127 dB. I think that might be the most I've ever seen on a product. Does it translate into musical enjoyment? Well, yes. What I love about this product is simply the tone controls. I mean, it sounds great to begin with. Out of the box with tone controls defeated, it was probably as clean of a signal as I've heard. Now, the deck that I was using is... Go figure, the J2 AKM from Gishelli Labs. And then I had the Wien Pro feeding that as the source. Is this a huge step up from the Arkel 2.5? Yes and no. Yes in the fact that I think it's cleaner. Yes, definitely in the fact that it has tone controls now. Yes, that it's got more jewelry. It's got those beautiful knobs. It's got more functionality. It's got the great LED switches. Arco 3 Pro has better hardware, but it still maintains the Gishelli Labs signature look which is, we're gonna do whatever the heck we wanna do. And I love that. To me, this is not hi-fi anymore, but a work of art. I get it. Not everyone's gonna like this. This is not gonna be for everybody. Now this case, again, is not gonna be available to the general public because I think it took a long time to do. But there is a variety of woods to choose from right now. This is also available right now. If you're interested in buying a Gishelli Labs, I would go ahead and do it because they have a tendency to be on back order because they make outstanding products at outstanding prices. $4.99 could be considered expensive. Well, no, not really, because I've had $1,000 headphone amps in here. And if headphones are your jam, get it, can jam, then who am I to say that $4.99 is too much? They make a $220 Arkel 2.5. They also make a balanced only headphone amp. Best headphone amp I've heard. One could also use this for a preamp too. So you could have your DAC, then you can have another analog input going into this, and then going out of the pre-outs, you go right into a power amplifier. You could use something like the topping LA90, but you would have to get a single-ended to balanced cable. You could also look at something like the A1 monoblocks from Emotiva, the A2 Mini from Emotiva, which is gonna be smaller, probably match up as far as form factor on this thing. You could hook up an A07 Pro from Aima or a Fuzzy Audio BT20A. You can hook up anything you want. The Arco 3 Pro though could be kind of the traffic cop. Can't say enough about this product or the company. I think anybody that's into headphones is gonna get the Arco 3 Pro and be very pleased. I think the inclusion of tone controls are awesome. I think the build is awesome. I think the power is awesome. The inclusion of Sparkos Labs op amps 
is awesome. I think this sets the standard for headphone amps. So, if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Audio Man. Every Saturday night, we have Patreon-only Zooms, Patreon-only Discord, Patreon-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Rune or Tile. Links in the description. Click sign up. They have a trial period. Even if you quit, though, I do get a commission. Just a couple of bucks, though. You can also buy me a cup of coffee. Down at the bottom of the video is the thanks button. Click on it, give me a couple bucks, buy me a cup of coffee. But don't feel compelled to buy me anything. You can also buy this product. I believe I do have an affiliate relationship with Gishelli Lab. So I believe if you order that, I will get a commission. But it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Go get yourself an Archel, Archel 3 Pro from Gishelli Labs and fill yourself with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm a cheap audio man.